so just going to get into it as quickly as possible pretty much um yeah listening to the kai watchy ep the new kai watchy ep released on cannibalin muscleville five tracks here uh i think i haven't heard any of them if i remember right i haven't been massive on kai watchy stuff last couple of years or so i have to admit uh, found that it's either missed the mark in the production or in the idea itself or, or a mix of both if I'm being honest you know not 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 loads of not loads of material from him in the recent past that I've really enjoyed but uh you know a new EP here again don't think I've heard any of these but uh yeah could be could be good could be a way of uh, winning me back over on the uh, Kai Wachi front so uh yeah, just gonna get into it as usual. I'm from Musclefield, motherfucker. Nice little quivering introduction here. Quite like that. I'm from Musclefield. Oi! Shit! Shit, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, I mean, damn. The snare was sick. Fat, thick, sharp. I like that. Um, ooh! What the hell? That that is genuinely one of, if not the best Kai Watchy song that I've heard in the last few years. I'm not even joking. Like the 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 tripling of all those wubs was just fucking fantastic. Really like grungy and gravelly and like fucking hell. That really that really got me. And the backdrop was good. And the introduction, you know, I was I was laughing to be fair, but it, you know it was funny in a good way. Just this guy kind of wailing into the abyss, like th 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 there's definitely no one there, like hearing him. Do you know what I mean? P people are just like they're, 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 there's no one there to help him. He's just kind of wailing out to no one. But yeah, the heaviness was like fucking hell. Like he knew when to like triple it up and quicken it up at the at the right moments, and the definition of the sound overall was really there. The percussion was good. And it had those whiny kind of dee dee. I think it was just a, a good mix of sounds overall in the heaviness, and also, you know, keeping it quite short as an uh, as an introductory tune, which was good. Quite a lot to kind of live up to here, I think, the following four. But yeah, that that is probably one of the best, one of the most impactful introductions to an EP that I've heard in quite a while. Didn't think I would be saying that, but Muscleville, that was a good tune. Following that, we have Buggin. Okay, let's go. That percussion, man. Oi! Oi! Man! This is like... It's almost as if he's, I don't know, been joking around for a couple of years and now... He's just... Unleashing all this fucking... Banger material. What the hell? Damn, that is... That is naughty. I mean, I think the transition into the into that first drop that we just got wasn't amazing. You know, you, you, you expected a bit more of a, a bit more of a bass field release, I think. But when you get used to the idea, there's so much to to enjoy there. The tripling again, fuck it out. Bake out. Oh. <laughs> that's a ah! like in the background there's little yelps it's so good We're just keeping it ticking along 
man, that was man. Th th this opening too. I'm I'm vibing so far. I'm 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 having a good time. I'm enjoying this music. I mean, I have to admit, not expected. Not expected. In the past, the ideas have not been... They haven't been emph like emphatic for me. They haven't been memorable. They haven't been well produced. They haven't been well assembled or put together. Just my opinion on the majority of his music. Last couple of years or so. But this is like... It's well packaged. It's together. It's concise. It doesn't do too much. All the elements just work alongside one another, basically, is what I'm saying. Um... The second drop from what I remember there not being quite as impactful initially, but then picking up just in the same way that the first one did. Um, you know, those background shouts or yelps or cries for help, whatever you want to call them. And, like, you know, just small little things like that. Little background touches just keep it ticking along so well and add another layer, uh, another layer sorry, of evil of naughtiness and just make it even more or even darker and more menacing. I'm not sitting here saying like, you know, these are the most amazing ideas I've heard in a while or anything similar, but for what they are doing, for what's going on here, just very solid. Moving on, the middle tune next up, Death Juice. Yeah, I mean, so far, about halfway through, just fine. Um, not quite with that bite and like extra touch of class for me so far. Quite straightforward, excuse me, but not in a bad way. I think still for what it's doing again, just it's good. Like, but it's just fine as an idea really so far. Okay. I mean, assume that we're going to get just a bit of an extended outro here. Um, but yeah, I, I think I'd have to agree that the, the snare choice is a little bit odd. has a bit of a, you know, quite an industrial feel to it. But um, I think, yeah, it just, just sounds a bit rough um, in the track overall. And the idea there, yeah, agreed. Just a bit run of the mill, a bit straightforward, a bit standard. Uh, not really doing that much. But sometimes that works as a middle tune uh, just to kind of you know reset regather and whatnot not do anything you know too out there and outlandish and just kind of you know tone the ep down a bit uh, have a have a little midway point uh, for going again basically um which i think is the intention there uh, but yeah not not quite ordinary that one death juice uh, not a lot going for it i wouldn't say but it could end up just being a nice midway point uh, for the EP, which we will find out uh, by the end of it right here. So next up, Trendsetter, which has been out a while to my knowledge. Oh yeah, some good sounds in this one. Those squelchy growl kind of sounds are very good, I like in those. Yeah, the snare is good actually, it's got quite a quite a chunky feel to it. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Yeah, those those little quickened up moments are good. Another I think another pretty straightforward tune for the most part here. Are you Mmm, 2021 if I remember right. I think for the most part they're another pretty straightforward tune, ideas wise. Um, some fantastic sounds in there. Snare was good. Had just a very uh, thickened up and fattened feel to it, which was good. Quite a fat tune without being that long or doing that much. So yeah, just uh, left an impression I think sonically, even though the ideas weren't doing all that much in my opinion um the vocal sampling was good uh but yeah i think could have maybe pushed a little bit further with the um the structure of it and yeah just the ideas overall and i think that's a bit of a uh, 
a bit of a trend that I'm spotting here. You know, we've got four tracks in the two minute mark in that kind of ballpark and then one that's only just over three minutes. So going into this final one right now, Psychotic with Sullivan King. Let's go. Classic. Uh, the snare there was easily the worst on the EP so far. That was uh, pretty cool. Um, I mean, the vocal's okay. I'm not like... Yeah, I mean, I can see what they're going for with that closer, you know, trying to go for the uh, the emphatic and, you know, bring their styles together, have that heavy metal vocal running through it, which, you know, I don't know, I can't, <clears throat> I can't sit here and lie and say that I enjoy that, it just sounds a bit, I don't know, I, I'm just not getting anything from it myself, basically. You know, there are loads of metal vocals over the year, that, over the years, sorry, that I've absolutely loved and you know which constitute some of my favorite vocals of all time but that one just feels a bit forced to me the ideas were decent i think to be fair the digger 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 again that kind of quickening up method that he's got going on here throughout the ep um that was good about it again some good sounds on show um but yeah i think the execution was uh pretty off for me uh you know very much here returning to the kai Wachi of the last couple of years or so um, just, you know, production being a bit off, uh, percussion in particular, feeling a bit rough. If we're talking about the EP overall here, uh, I have to admit, you know, first couple of tracks in, Muscleville, the title tune, and Buggin, I was genuinely like, damn, like, we could be onto one of the EPs of the year here. I'm not even joking. Like, the first couple, I was like, fuck, like, if it carries on like that, then we are onto a bit of a winner here. Like, this could be big seismic stuff like you know across those two tracks it was just such an impactful opening you know really attention grabbing ideas good production good all of that vocal samples everything third one i'm like okay a bit rushed feeling snare was a bit odd the ideas not doing all that much but then i was like you know maybe just a bit of a midway tune that kind of thing uh, just uh you know toning it down a bit and you know so that you know he could go again in the final two but then the one after that just ends up being even shorter and by quite a long way you know almost uh almost 50 seconds um so yeah that one pretty much over before it gets going and then the closer which i've just talked about um yeah just being a good idea and good that they've uh, combined and joined forces again but um the execution there is um just uh, just not something that I can quite get on board with. So for me, uh, with the with the opening two being great, in my opinion, and the third middle one being okay, like agreeable, and then the final two being for me the least um, the least enthralling of the five here, it's kind of like a bit of a tale of two halves situation here. But yeah, that would be my thoughts on that one the new EP from Kai Watching.